Welcome distinguished faculty members, family and friends to the 2014 Real Salado College Commencement Ceremony. I'd first like to thank you for the support that you provided my classmates and I during this journey that is now ending. Without your encouragement and sacrifices, we would not be here tonight, so thank you. Rio Salado Class of 2014, welcome to your day. It's a day of excitement, celebration, and rejoice. Enjoy this day because you worked hard and you earned it, and you deserve everything good that is going to come your way. I'm extremely humbled by this opportunity to be in front of you tonight, and I'm ecstatic that I get to share this moment with thousands of my closest friends. A little bit about myself. I grew up in Glendale, Arizona, and I was the oldest of five children, and at that time, no one in my family had ever attended college. From a very young age, I was encouraged and urged to do great things and to be a role model for my sisters and brother. This was a job that I took very seriously. I was always told my ticket in life would be my education, and if I got good grades and got into college, I can do anything that I wanted. For as long as I can remember, I only wanted to do one thing, and that was to be a police officer. Now this could have been because my dad was a police officer, and I commonly heard of his amazing stories as nights patrol in the streets, or the fact that I wanted to help people and to make a difference in my community. I did well in high school, and I tried to achieve high grades, mostly because the people around me continued to tell me to reach for the stars and never settle for anything less. When I finished high school and graduated 10 years ago, I had scholarship offers from many schools, but elected to stay home and be with my family and go to Arizona State University. After just one year, while the country was at war, I enlisted in the United States Navy as a military police officer, and I put my college and education on the back burner. As the saying goes, and I'm sure many of you can attest, life happens. While in the Navy, I met my wife, Jessica, started a family, and met my first beautiful daughter, Adrian. I spent three years away from home, which was a life experience in itself, as I grew up a lot as an individual. When I got out of the military and I came home, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a police officer in the city that I grew up in, Glendale, Arizona, just like my dad. With hard work, patience, and perseverance, in June of 2008, I achieved my dream and was hired as a Glendale police officer and have been one for six years. One thing continued to elude me. Even though I had achieved my dream job, had a beautiful family which had grown by two more beautiful daughters, Annabelle and Abrael, and I'd served my country honorably in the United States Navy, I still did not have my college degree. About two years ago, my oldest daughter, Adrienne, started school, and from day one, I preached to her the same values that were instilled in me by my mom and dad. School and education are important. It's your key to success and will open up any door that you choose to walk through. If you get good grades and get into college, you can do anything you want. Well, like kids do, they ask the most innocent things that make you reflect on your entire existence. <laughs> I remember picking her up from school one day and looking at her in the rearview mirror of the car. I can remember seeing her pretty brown eyes and her pigtail hair ties. She asked me, Daddy, what college did you go to? <laughs> Not knowing what to say, it was at that moment that I realized that I needed to go back and finish what I had started so long ago. I needed to be a role model for my children and to prove to them that with hard work, patience, and perseverance that you can achieve your dreams. Well, that like many of your own stories is where my adventure began. I chose Real Salado because it was convenient. It allowed me to work a full-time, stressful job at night, managing a young, growing family during the day while getting my education. It hasn't always been easy. I'd definitely be lying to you if I said that it was. I reflect on all the hardships of the past few years, and I can remember countless times of sitting in front of the computer screen late at night with my eyes burning because I've been staring at the screen for so long and working up against a midnight deadline to turn that assignment in. I can remember my laptop dying in the middle of taking a midterm and thinking that I just failed that midterm. And like many of you with children can attest, I can remember countless times of, Dad, Dad, are you done yet? <laughs> yes, yes, we finally are. When I think of the last two years and my experiences, it reminds me of one of my most favorite things that I picked up in the military, which was a quote. Tough times don't last, tough people do. We made it through all the tough times, and we're here now to celebrate and rejoice in our accomplishment. You all, wherever you have come from, near or far, have proven to be tough and worthy to be here. You are the fighters. You faced adversity and beat it. 
You motivated yourself to get to this point. You cracked open that book at two in the morning. You turned that assignment before it was due. You did. In closing, I urge you, Real Salado Class of 2014, to enjoy this accomplishment for a little while. Look back on it and be proud because you made it happen. Now do it again. Let's get back to work. We are halfway there. Let us not put our education on hold any longer. And don't be afraid to reach for the stars. If anybody can do it, it's you, the self-starting, highly motivated, highly dedicated individuals in this room today. Thank you very much. Good luck. Congratulations.